Good evening to everyone gathered here for today's event. We have with us our Chief Investment Officer, Mr. Sunil Damania, in the Q&A session. Drop your questions in the Q&A box below the video on any concerns you may have on stocks, sectors and your investments. And our panelists would answer them. Over to you, Mr. Sunil. Hey, thanks a lot, Jason, and a very warm welcome. I know uh, market is not <laughs> really uh, making us happy, but that's the part of the life. So what I'm going to do, uh, first I'll give you some data point. Uh, I know all of you are a little concerned about uh, which direction the market is heading towards. And tomorrow I'm going to do an equity outlook. They will discuss about uh, how do we see the market and so on and so forth. So very quickly, uh, uh, disclaimer that this webinar is only for an education purpose. Whenever you invest in the equity market, it does carry a little higher amount of risk and past performance would not be considered as an indicator for future returns. The reason I'm hyping on this point now today Past performance is no indicator of a future returns. Why am I saying so? Because we are all suffering from recency bias. If it doesn't make money in one year, it will not make So I don't think that's the way it should be. Uh, humble request to all of you, please don't post the question if it's already been answered in the webinar because I know you people have an excitement to put keep putting the question. But if I repeat this answer again, it's going to bore everyone. Uh, okay. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. Second thing, please do not post the question again and again. Uh, why? Because it does disturb Jason who is moderating today uh, in terms of picking questions. So he, I'm sure he will pick up questions uh, one after another. And last and but not the least, sometimes my view on the on the company may differ from the Markets Mojo website. Uh, of course, it happens not all the case, but in few cases. And, and if that is so, uh, I assume that you want my personal view. That's why you're asking me the question, am I right? And, and if that happens, uh, you have a choice to pick and choose. Of course, I do suffer from human bias, but Market Mojo website does not. But please don't write back to the us, customer care department saying, hey, Sunil Daman is saying so, and the Market Mojo website said so and so. Now let me come to the, uh, the thing which, there's a third month in a row the market has declined, uh, you know, and if you look at this uh, BAC 500, uh, 3.2 in the month of December, 3.4 in the month of January, and minus 2.7 in February. Every month we are seeing decline. And if you are wondering why my portfolio is not making money, you know the reason, because overall market itself is not doing well. Where, is, where, where, where are you going to make money, am I right? But that's the part of the market. Don't have to be too much reactive, too much, don't have to be little emotions. I do get a uh, few emails from you people and I can really sense that you people are little emotive in terms of your expressing opinion. I think that's not very fair. Uh, why? Because ultimately you are going to lose money if you get little emotion. Uh, uh, and, and hence I've been requesting time and again the market watch is one uh, platform and I think it's a unique in the world who comes daily in front of you, including Saturday, just to help you navigate the market volatility. We are doing hand holding, not only during good time, also during bad time. And that's the biggest USP of markets mojo. Our job is to guide you. Our job is to do hand holding. Our job is to control your emotions so that you don't take a decision which you are not supposed to do, which are as well detrimental to the portfolio value. And we'll keep doing that, come what may. Well, that's our promise to you people. It is our job to guide you during good time and during bad time. And that we'll keep doing that. So this is the, what happened. As in more and more red ink that we see, it also increases the probability of market bouncing back very strongly. That's what the historical data says. And hence, for some reason, if the, again we see for some reason March also negative, it makes all the reason that the probability in the subsequent months of market doing very well goes up, increases very well. Why? Because no market can afford to keep going falling month after month with such a three, three and a half percent kind of a decline every month. 
and if you look at what happened in 2023 hardly any green uh, except nifty it which has done reasonably well and fmcg which is more of a story of a uh, 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 you know due to this corporate governance episode coming up people want to go to the sector where there are less corporate governance issue which is fmcg just fits into the this one capital goods for the very simple reason government capex but otherwise we were looking at bank nifty which is down by 6.3% bank nifty finance 5 5.2% now remember just go back rewind two months back and you ask everyone which sector will give you maximum returns and it was bank nifty and nifty finance i distinctly recollect one leading uh, lady who is very prominent on the youtube and influencer she selected two stocks from the banking is a top picks for 2023 what happened so you know that that that's a problem with recency bias we we believe what has worked in the past is going to work in the future and that's not as happened but overall you can see things are not as good as and and psu bank down by 15.3% so while nip bank nifty is down by 6% bias psu bank is down by 15% reality is down by 9% and of course that's a one casualty that we should all will happen in the future also for the very simple reason as and when the rate of interest goes up this sector has to underperform now why is the market has been 3 months in a row has been down and let me give you some uh, data points okay and the reason i'm talking about you the first i'm going to talk about fed that's in us and then i'll come to the india also now if you look at the future pricing on interest rate that is as of yesterday the market just started for the us just now they are saying there is a 25% probability that rate hike would be on 22nd march which is less than a month from now would be 50 bps point just go back one month back and it was the probability of 50 bps was only zero there was no probability everyone was talking about 25 bps rate hike that has suddenly gone to the 25% probability and this is what making market jittery and in fact one expert in the us made a statement it he's making the statement that all most probably the rally in the us market is already over for 2023 in a kind of a statement now this kind of a pessimism is a good foundation for the next bull rally remember i have always observed in my life more the pessimism pessimism in the market stronger the foundation for the bull rally and exactly opposite of that the stronger the optimism in the market it's a foundation for the bear rally the bear market and the strong bear market okay so on the street when 10 out of 10 people or 9 out of 10 people tells you ke market mein tezi hai please stay away at that point of uh, stay away in the sense be cautious of what you are buying in and 9 out of 10 people is so there is a very famous saying ke jab aapko paan wala bol dena stock market tips dene lage na aapko samajh lena chahiye ke market mein tezi khatam ho gayi and today the more you hear about the people everyone suffers from recency bias because everyone think jo 3 mahine mein hua hai that aage ja ke 6 mahine mein hone wala hai and that's what is impacting the market now that's on the fed side that's on the us market side but if you look at the all you know that's a another fear that has come up rightly so there's nothing wrong with that okay but it's too early to come to a meaningful conclusion ke all you know aayega in india mein we'll get more clarity by april or so now suppose al nino aa bhi jata hai you know there is in fact no one has a very clear it's all short ke wo monsoon kharab hi hoga i'll give you classical example we all uh, we learn from the mistakes or we learn from the history or we learn from other people mistake am i right now if you look at the strongest prediction for al nino was in 1997 again repeat 1997 and what did happen at that point of time india received monsoon higher than the long term average 102% of long period average 
एंड सबसे वीकेस्ट था अल नीनो का अनाउंसमेंट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू थाउजेंड फोर सॉरी एंड इंडिया रिसीव मच लेस रेनफॉल तो जरूरी नहीं है फर्स्ट थिंग अल नीनो इज सर्टेनिटी इज नॉट नेसेसरी कन्फर्म येट सेकेंड थिंग एवन एज्यूम दैट इज देर नॉट ने इंडिया विल रिसीव लेस मॉनसून एज्यूम दैट इज अल नीनो मॉनसून इज ऑल्सो रिसीव लेस दर्ड पॉसिबिलिटी बिकॉज वी आर ऑल गोइंग नाउ ग्रेन्यूअल In two thousand four, when there was the early you no know, impact, the census gave positive returns of eleven point six percent. So, पहले तो early you no know, है कि नहीं उसका पता नहीं समझ ले है तो जरूरी नहीं है कि monsoon कम होगा rainfall कम आएगा अगर monsoon कम भी आया तो जरूरी नहीं है कि market has to go down. And hence my request, of course it's a worry. I'm not saying you should discard that worry. पर इतना ज्यादा पैनिक मत करो जिससे मेरे भाई पोर्टफोलियो में तकलीफ आए दैट्स व्हाट द माय रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई एम गिविंग यू हार्ड फैक्ट्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू सो दैट यू कैन एनालाइज द डेटा बेस ऑन द मैरिट नाउ कमिंग टू द जीडीपी ग्रोथ दैट वाज कम रिसेंटली टुडे ओनली जस्ट बिफोर द रियल जी ग्रोथ फॉर क्यू टी क्यू थ्री एफ फाइव टू बिन पुट एट फोर परसेंट And to, for 2023, it has been maintained at seven percent, despite RBI saying saying six point eight percent. The estimate from the most Mopsi, that Ministry of uh, Statistics and so on, so I don't know the <laughs> the full form. And 2022 GDP has been revised to nine point one. It's been revised upwards to nine point one percent. The nominal GDP growth for FY 2023 has been put at fifteen point nine percent. In for F five twenty two, it was been revised to eighteen point four percent. So there is nothing which clearly says that there is a slowdown which is impacting India. India would continue be would continue to be the fastest growing economies in the world. And sometimes excessive pessimism is unwarranted. So my request to all of you is that. Yes, I do understand. It's a challenging time. No disputes on that. But this is not the market where you need to get out of the market or you need to act, behave in a very panic manner and do something which is not good. Only thing control your emotions. And the day you start controlling your emotions, I can tell you with confidence, you would make tons of money from the market. The person who makes money from the equity market is not the smartest or the most intelligent. The person who makes money from the market is the guy who is disciplined and put emotions aside. Two things you have to do: philosophy. Sahi mein paisa banana to equity market se control emotions and be disciplined. ये सेक्टर चलने लगा लेट मी पुट टेक आउट द मनी फ्रॉम दिस सेक्टर टू पुट इन दैट मनी वो कंपनी चलने लगी लेट मी गेट आउट गेट इन टू दिस वो कभी मत करना वो दैट्स नॉट द डिसिप्लिन अप्रोच होप दैट्स यू अंडरस्टूड वेल ऑफ कोर्स आई एम मोर देन हैप्पी टू आंसर ऑल योर क्वेश्चन वी डू हैव ए सब्सक्रिप्शन एंड वन ऑफ द एडवांटेज विथ मार्केट मोज इज दैट वी आर धेयर टू गाइड यू वी आर धेयर टू हैंड होल्ड यू एंड अवर Paid members get more handholding than anyone else. We have twenty six thousand triple nine for two years, which comes with additional three months. And very recently, we launched mutual fund transaction, also, which is a part of this package. I'll request my colleague Jason to please drop the link, and let's open the floor for question and answer. Over to you, Jason. Okay, I'll start off with this uh, first particular question. Yeah, this is by Mr. Nand Kumar. Dear Sunil Ji, Axelia has gone down over twenty five percent from the recommended price. Is it worth holding, or better to book losses as this is March from tomorrow and do tax harvesting? My request to you, please hold. And today also the script was up by almost three percent. Please continue to hold. I do understand. See, Nand Kumar Ji, sir, I understand your pain, uh, uh, and 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 there are many companies which has gone down by twenty five, thirty percent in the last three months or so. Uh, there has been a little panicking situation. I must admit that also, but don't get emotive, and please continue to hold. We will tell you, 
uh, if you are a paid member, sir, you know that this is also stock of the month, and we will tell you when to exit if it is a stock of the month. So please, please, please don't get, uh, please don't move out of it. We will tell you when to exit. Okay. Uh, so question by Ravindra, could you please show us the return percent of model portfolio for the calendar years 2021 and 2022? So Ravindra ji, uh, I think this returns of 2020, 2021, 22. So we need to compare. See what has happened is that in our system, almost everyone has added investment. So they would have started in 2020. They added more funds in 2020, 2021, 2022, everyone. That includes a conservative portfolio, moderate portfolio and aggressive portfolio. And hence, the return is not only a function of the starting, it's also a function of at the various period that we have done. So my worry is that uh, uh, I will not be able to open, let me see one model portfolio that I basically uh, created, uh, take your model portfolio, let me see what is it, uh, one second. Huh? Uh, so if I can show it to you. Uh, so can you just show my screen if you don't mind, Jason? Yeah, my invest, this is on 31st December, my model portfolio. That portfolio is up by 72.32% versus a benchmark return of 24.44%, updated as of today. So, uh, and of course, uh, various, so this, this portfolio, I did not add any money. So I can show it to you, this is what has happened. And same way, I don't have the, uh, the data with other, but let me see of 2021, if I can, this is a moderate, I think, uh, this is a moderate portfolio. Let me see aggressive portfolio if I can see that. Uh, this is started in 30 December 2021. Can you see this? It is down by 2.19% versus benchmark down by 2.04%. So not, of course, it has underperformed, but not so much. Okay, and let me see if I can take you another portfolio. And let me see aggressive 205. Uh, this started on 21st October. 2022, I think this is my Diwali portfolio looks like, which is up by 7.64% versus benchmark, which is down by 4.01%. So I hope that gives you an answer, sir. When I don't have data for the visa because various investors did a lot of investment. I have some portfolio which I've created, uh, uh, which are no uh, investment. And you can see uh, uh, this is what the performance is. I hope Ravindaji, that gives you some amount of idea. Yeah. Okay, moving on, I think uh, many investors are particularly asking uh, this particular question by Naveen. Today, the Adani stocks have started doing well. Can you comment on this behavior of the market? Is it not against the fundamentals and other aspects that we are working on? Uh, this shows human interference is a must to act according to the market. Also, few of the investors are asking whether it's the right time now to buy on dip. So, Naveen ji, that's a rule of the market is that if something has fallen substantial, there could be some uh, buying. People think that was my values and like if you remember, it's not the first time any group has moved up. Uh, I think uh, when that uh, I FPO got close, I think just before that it also moved up something of that sort. I think it's more of a news related stuff. Uh, not all Adani group companies have done well. Uh, I think today some have done well. Don't be in a rush to buy. Uh, I think we need to, we do expect these counters are likely to remain volatile. Uh, risk reward continues to be tilted towards the risk, not in terms of the uh, reward. And hence, please stay away. I distinctly recollect someone asked me about the Vedanta group. And today there has been some fear about the Vedanta group. I must tell you that. Uh, and that question was asked to me was that will Vedanta can go on the similar line of Adani? And my answer was no. And I still maintain the same. Uh, I don't expect Vedanta Group to go, despite there has been a spike in the uh, the bond yield of Vedanta Group. But idea is not to worry at all about it. That's what my under, uh, assessment is. Over to you, Jason. Okay, question by Ankur. Happy to see mid and small cap outperforming Nifty. I hope this trend continues. So, Ankur ji, you are right. That's what has happened. And I, uh, I also, if you remember, sir. Uh, we did predict into a uh, uh, beginning of 2023 that small and mid cap in that order should outperform the large cap. 
and we continue to maintain that despite uh, there has been some underperformance in till till now in 2023 but we do our reasoning is very simple a risk on strategy coming back market cap of a mid and small cap has substantially fallen as compared to the average and number 3 when as and when the rate of interest start declining mid and small cap tends to outperform the large cap so these are three main reasons why we believe so i anko ji we are will be happy in fact just before coming to the this webinar our legal consultant come down to our office uh, you know we are uh, almost about to get our pms license and mohit and uh, and that legal consultant i was just 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 before coming to the studio i happened to meet him and i just uh, asked him how is he in this one and i made a statement if the market at least gives some kind of a positive trend i would not be surprised that mini for infinity portfolio moves up by 20% in single month and that's what the statement i just made in fact i never wanted to discuss this with you people but since you have asked about this mid and small cap and that's a, that's a kind of confidence i do have i'm again making a statement mini for uh, infinity portfolio can see 20% jump in one month itself okay if if the if the really if there is some relief uh, really that happens in the market we are very confident we have seen our portfolios going up by 7788% in a single day single day i'm talking about uh, uh, and that recently happened on 31st jan uh, when on single day market uh, was little better and our portfolio we have seen many portfolios jumping by 6 to 7% in a single day so 20% one month is a fair possibility Okay, I think with the news coming in, a lot of investors talking about the GDP. Uh, Bala Sundaram has said, "Hi, Sunil. We have heard many times that all fundamentals are doing at its best, even when compared globally, considering the GDP projections across the world. We have heard many times that 30 is equal to 5, but in spite of this, we are seeing continuously a decline. It looks like the market is working without any correction correlation to fundamentals. Do you really think that the judgment of the road ahead was correct? Incorrect?" So, sir, uh, this 30 is equal to 5 is not a one-month uh, uh, prediction. It's for the five years, and we all know that market has a tendency to give you returns non-linear. So we, uh, you know, and that's why I want everyone to please read uh, the Warren Buffett letter. And I think Jason just remind me if 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 time permits, because this week the complete calendar is full for the webinar. Maybe next week, if I get a time, I would like to. I will take you through the essence of Warren Buffett letter and how used to what are what is it saying. Just ask how many people are uh, interested in that. So, if you really want me to do webinar, please put yes, yes. And those who are against, please put no. If if you have more yes, I think I'll do webinar next week. Now, we got a very nice thing in that letter, and I'll repeat for you. It is crucial to understand. the stocks often trade at truly fullish prices fullish prices both high and low efficient market exists only in the textbooks now what applies to the stock also applies to the overall market also am i right and hence when sometimes you know you see fundamentals are doing well but market is not doing well is not going to remain like this as i told you we all suffer from recency bias and we tend to believe कि जो तीन महीने में नहीं हुआ है छः महीने में नहीं हुआ है एक साल में नहीं हुआ है दैट विल नॉट हैपन इवन इन द फ्यूचर सो माई रिक्वेस्ट टू ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज डोंट कम टू दैट कंक्लूजन विट कंटिन्यू टू बिलीव थर्टी इज इक्वल टू फाइव इज गोइंग टू हैपन अगेन आई रिपीट वी विल सी साइंसेक्स एंड निफ्टी डबलिंग इन लेस देन फाइव ईयर्स आई वुड नॉट बी सरप्राइज इट हैपन इन फोर ईयर्स बिकॉज जब भी रैली आएगी वो बहुत तेजी स्ट्रॉन्ग रैली आएगी एंड दैट विल रिक वॉट एवर द टाइम पीरियड दैट वी लॉस इट विल रिकवर दैट ऑल्सो सो आई एम एक्सट्रीमली बुलिस ऑन द मार्केट आई मस्ट टेल यू अगेन आई रिपीटेड ये स्टडी आई अगेन रिपीट एवरी डेप आई एम यूजिंग पुटिंग मोर मनी इन द इक्विटी मार्केट इंक्लूडिंग टूडे आई बॉट सम सेस ओके सो दैट्स वेल माई कॉन्फिडेंस कम फ्रॉम Okay, I can see a lot of investors writing yes in the chat box for the webinar event. I think um, Mr. Singh, if we can plan it next week, it will be great. So just remind me, Jason. If I forget, we will definitely do it, sir. Thanks. Okay. 
Uh, moving on uh, to this next particular question. This is by Srinivas. He says, so is it a good idea, uh, idea to get into metal stocks now with a one year horizon? I think so, uh, uh, Srinivas. I, I do believe that it should do well. It's one of the worst performing uh, 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 sector, YTD. But I think, see the metal, the beauty with metal is that uh, uh, they go down also very fast and then they can move up also very fast. But please remain selective with the metal stocks, uh, you know. So you need to be the art in creating wealth in the metal stocks that go for a company which is not highly leveraged, very well managed by the management because there is a lot of scope in the metal companies. If the management, quality of management is not good, they can siphon off the funds. So go with the leading names and go with the company that has a very lower debt to equity ratio. That's another nice way to look at it. Okay. Moving on to this next particular question, this is by Sudhakar. Hi Sunil, so three consecutive months Nifty and Sensex gave negative returns. If March also behaves the same way, indices will break a 20 year record. Your views on this? I don't know sir, that, is that the 20 years, I said, who I can, I have not done that analysis. But if that is so, yes, it can break. But as I told you in my beginning of my uh, uh, webinar, if that has to happen, the bounce back would be extremely strong. It is making, going to make a good foundation for the market to the more the deep it goes, the, the quicker the rally would be uh, in the market. So uh, in, in case of that has to happen and see you should never take a view on the market for one month, two months or three months. Your view should be on the market at a long term. The reason I am investing more money in the equity market because my view is long term. I am not bothered, I am not basically bothered about what happens in the next month or one month after that. Well, that's the way you can't create wealth from the equity market, am I right? If you are really serious about creating wealth, then you have to go beyond this kind of a uh, 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 one month, two months kind of failure. But if, if your data, what you are saying is, if you've done some analysis, says it's 20 year record, so be it. Probability is very low, that will happen, but you never know, this is the market, you never know. And today the news flows are coming from anywhere. It could be international, it could be global, it could be uh, uh, domestic, we don't know where, what's going to happen where. Okay, moving to this uh, next question. This is by Sham Sundar. You are holding a stock with a score of 50 in model portfolio. Curious to know what will you do if the score is 49? Will the decision be to simply get out or will it be stock specific? No, it will be definitely get out, sir. Sham Sundar ji, you are right. Your question is very pertinent. I know which company you are referring to. Yes, we will. Because then it's a sale. Till 50, we do have a comfort level to hold that company. The moment it goes to the 49, it's clear, it's clear cut sell and then our system will uh, ask you to get out of that company. So your question is very much right, sir. Sam Sundarji. Okay, moving to this uh, next particular question. Yeah, this is by Mr. Frank. Hello Sunil, my portfolio has been green so far and have many scripts which have profits. As days go by, my profits are being wiped out. If I don't book profits now, soon all again will be wiped out and the market is going this way. My question is, should I book profits when I can before it is completely wiped out? Um, no assurance here in helping my portfolio, please advise. So sir, I think one basic assumption that we are making is that market will continue to fall. Uh, and that's the assumption that we are. Now assume that what you are, you know, is saying is right. Okay. For the argument sake, cut though. You get out of the market. You book profit. When will you re-enter the market? When will you redeploy that fund? Because as and when market will bounce back, you will think the market niche jaigai. Let me not get out of it. Let me not put money. Jab niche jaiga. So sir, timing the market is practically impossible. And especially on the bottom side, I'll give you a very classic example. That video we had interviewed uh, Ramdev ji. Uh, uh, Jason do sal ho gaya isko? Ke one and a half years. Very close to two years. Ramdev Agarwal we had invited in our, uh, this one. And he gave a very classical, uh, uh, this. One of his friend, he did not name it. Uh, he in, informed Ramdev ji that please get out of the market in January 2022. 2020, sorry. And when the market went in March, he said, Sunil, I thought this man Bought paisa banaya usne. Because market did crack, am I right? In March 2020. 
but then he made a statement sudhil but that guy is still waiting to reenter the market so in march 2020 he was like a hero but as the market started recovering he could not redeploy that funds and he still left out in the rally and then he become a zero in terms of hero and zero i'm using the word that way not the the portfolio value so my request sir frank uh, is that it's easy to you get tempted to book profit but when will you reenter the market and if the market for some reason bounce back then you'll repent yaar yeah, me itna wait kiya wish i waited for more i would have made money so my if i would be in your place i will not do that i will not book profit i may underperform i may take some beating let my profit get wiped out also for some more time but it's not going to be the permanent am i right so please don't do that i wouldn't recommend okay uh, moving on to this question by anand hi sunisha we are nearing june 2022 lows and liquidity is freezing from both fis and dd investors how can we reach all time highs in this year so anand ji uh, you know market has its own way to surprise everyone am i right what will happen what will bring in liquidity who will come see it's all one thing i realize in uh, in market it takes fraction of uh, uh, seconds you know to change the sentiment in the market one event and then there is a herd mentality that start playing agar if suppose fi start investing 10 10000 crore do teen din mein those who are bearish on the market will change and then it's a virtuous cycle that gets created so what will happen how it will happen it's very difficult to predict am i right but wo ho jayega and and we can see uh, all time high also possible very much possible wo kya hoga kaise hoga very difficult to say very difficult to say and volume they have taken a beating sorry jason i know you about to ask the next question but i interrupted you uh, the volume has taken a beating if you look at the I'll, i'll present that data tomorrow in my equity outlook and the, that clearly shows the retail investors participation okay this question by vinith should we hold or sell uh, he has given some three stocks satya industries equity small finance and ptm what's your opinion vinith just go with our uh, uh, what we call uh, score of the company and take a decision i don't want to discuss on this the reason i am saying so uh, because we do have a strategy different for the infinity and for the markets mojo uh, why because we have different pass score so i don't want to confuse you sir okay ramesh has asked this question what's your advice on investing in nippon nifty bees mutual fund which one nifty nippon nifty bees mutual fund uh, ramesh ji you can definitely go ahead and if you want to have an uh the market retail related returns go for that uh, nifty bees uh, mutual fund that's fine uh, because it will mimic nifty 50 returns in fact someone came out with a very interesting tweet the other day can someone offer me nifty 50 minus adani enterprise he said if someone can launch i'll go and buy that <laughs> immediately but yes please go ahead on a serious note okay moving on to, uh, to the next set of questions so uh, this is by ankur Does Marcus Mojo consider quantitative analysis while determining the score? For example, regression, time series, Monte Carlo, factor analysis, etc. Uh, so we do use a regression analysis uh, uh, for our valuations, time series analysis. So we look at growth parameters and CAGR and so and so forth. Not anything, nothing to do with the Monte Carlo or factor analysis. No, we don't do that actually. So we used. Uh, More than five hundred parameters uh, 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 for our various dot on the fundamental side, uh, and we analyze those factors. Now they are not Monte Carlo kind of stuff, but some elements of that would be there in our IP. Otherwise, you know, if it is, if you have to follow some of these Monte Carlo kind of stimulation, I think then anyone can else copy us. Am I right? So the reason why we are not doing that, we created our unique IP. so it becomes little difficult for someone to mimic it number one number two that ip has shown lot of uh, uh, back test has shown lot of uh, good performance and that's the reason we did that so uh, some of the element of each one have we have taken it but we have not copy pasted the complete uh, 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 what we call i uh, formula in our ip Okay, this question by Mr. Thompson. I think few of the investors might have this opinion in their head. Um, 
During the current fiscal, my realized profit was 2.2%. If I would have put that in a savings bank account, it would have been more return than this. Then why should I pay a huge subscription fee? Very simple, sir. Uh, so don't do that, okay? Uh, if you are saying that, you know, next year also my return would be 2.2%, Uske baad bhi 2.2%, iske baad bhi 2.2%, please take out the money and put in savings. Problem savings mein kya hai sir? Woh every year aapko 3-4 taka hi dega. But equity sometimes can give you 2.2%, sometimes can give you negative returns also, and sometimes can give you more than 50% return also. The moment you look at block of 5 years, you will realize that savings mein paisa nahi bana, you made banks rich. By investing in equity, you make yourself rich. So you can't compare returns on equity market year on year. That's not the right way, sir. Uh, and Thomas, sir, I, I, Tom, sir, I think you are, I believe that we are in this market for many, many years. And if that is so, this comparison is no, doesn't make any sense. Uh, 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 to comparing FD one year in equity market return one year. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You have to look at equity always from the block of three years or five years. And that's not only first time we are discussing. The day we started our webinar, we have been saying that. Always look at equity for a minimum three to five years. Minimum three to five years. Okay, I can see, see a lot of investors writing, yes, they want a webinar on Warren Buffet. I would request you all to ask another questions as well because the entire screen is filled with a lot of yeses. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I move on to this question by um, Muna. The government has planned for many one-day power trains to be started with next two to three years. Also, government has allocated significant funds in the budget. Considering this fact, can you suggest good stocks to invest for two to three year timeline? This large amount can change any company's balance sheet, which is a real beneficiary of this project. So I need a stock recommendation from you based on your experience, not from the AI based tools. Also, <laughs> if you could suggest good defense stocks for the next two to three years. So, Mona ji, I think yesterday you only asked about uh, Vedant and, and I did clarify now. So I hope that answers your coming back to your one day Bharat. I, so I think government has a huge plan for the railway. It's not only one day Bharat uh, train. Tejas, uh, the Agatiman uh, Express, uh, uh, renovating the 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 complete many railway stations uh, laying down tracks uh, so that you know bullet trains we are talking about so i think the scope and of course uh, you know india exporting uh, some of this uh, uh, the railway uh, 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 rolling stock and so on and so forth i think the the scope is huge you know and and, and i think it's going to be uh, is a game changer in next couple of years that's what government even they want to do away with the diesel locomotives and everything what has to be on the the electricity so that we save a lot of uh, diesel uh, on that. I think government is doing a huge amount of and plus uh, you forgot to mention our metro. I think in city like Bombay, there are various metro projects are live and kicking, you know. And that's not only in city like Bombay. You go to Pune is there, you go to Nagpur, you go to Surat, you go to Ahmedabad, you go to smaller cities and things are happening at a very rapid pace. So that's another opportunity those were associated with the, the railway project. So the demand is good. Now my worry is that, you know, uh, Monaji is that we need to all understand what is already there in the price. And hence sometimes, you know, I distinctly recollect, we just don't ask the IRCTC on the IRCTC, I think, right? And if you remember, I think one, one and a half year back, everyone was excited about IRCTC. Who just the bonus test split the other and everyone was if there was not a single webinar where the question of ICTC was not picked up. And every time I had to tell them was TG make both already price in hai. All good thing. And hence, to make money from this level doesn't look like. And if you look at ICTC price, uh, can I just show it to you? Uh, okay. Uh, ICTC come a price the uh, can I see, okay. Can you see this price? Okay, let me take three years, okay. Somewhere here, the company declared bonus split. And look at what has happened to that company from there. So it came down very substantially. So if I can take it from uh, uh, maybe 18th October. So let me take it from 18th October. In 
now I am taking today's price. It's down by 50 percent. Now this is a time where we are talking about where there is a huge scope for railway, am I right? And yet this company in that period, last one and a half years or something, down by 50 percent. And if you look at this company, when did it declare, uh, you know, I'll tell you, what was the bonus of splits? Kabita uh, Oskar? Twentieth October, can you see? So, you know, sometimes you people get excited. Are you uh, uh, split here, let me buy. But the script is down by 50, but this is adjusted price. Huh? This I must tell you, this is adjusted price. So, Monaji, my sense is that you should not hold any company for that matter. Just because sector uh, tezi aane wali hai, or tezi hai. You look at the valuation from the, we do have some of the, uh, uh, we do have rights as a stock of the month, which is open call. We do have Bharat Dynamics as a stock of the month, open call from defense. We also ask for defense. We do own HAL in our portfolio. These are the company which we believe should do well. But our view can change depending upon the new data point comes in. And, and hence, and, and it's not that we, once we change our view, they will always, we will not re-enter those companies. We can again re-enter when the data point improves. So, so my sense is that my answer to your question is to Monaji is that, yes, we do, I do buy your agreement, uh, 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 what we call view, that defense should do very well, railway should do very well, but you need to also understand what is already priced in and that business is. If it's already priced in, then stay away. Please use our Mojo score. But I do believe Wright should do well. We, I do believe Bharat Dynamics should do well. I do believe HL should do well. Why? Because they have a huge growth prospects going forward. Okay. Shriyari has asked this question. Your personal opinion on Reliance Industries? Please continue to hold. I do believe that uh, I think this one thing which is uh, not people, many people have realized or not appreciated is the IPL is going to be streamed without any subscription. India is a cricket loving country and IPL has the highest eyeballs. Now once that's going to be available free of cost, a lot of people are going to stream that on their devices, which would mean what? A lot of data consumption. And when that data comes and happens, I think the players like Jio, players like Bharti Airtel, they should do extremely well. And Bharti, Sunil Bharti Metal has just gone on the record saying that by second half of 2023, they should be price increase. In fact, they believe that 300 rupees ARPU is more uh, which will can make industry sustainable. So why am I making this statement? Because I do believe the detail of Reliance and Geo of Reliance can go public or they will get listed maybe by giving sales of the, uh, they, they get listed by giving sales to the existing shareholders Reliance Industries and that value or looking can create wealth for the investors. So Reliance Industries is a hold at this point of time. Okay, Mr. Lakumar has asked this question. He wants your views on TCS and Tata LXC. Uh, I would recommend both buy. If you're already ho holding it, please continue to hold. Okay, question by Suhail. Hi Sunil, so what's your opinion on coal India? It has been in downtrend since last six months. Do you think subsiding coal prices is making it not to move? So right now, the sense is that coal prices have started uh, uh, declining and I think the monsoon has been, sorry, winter has not been as, uh, 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 what we call, uh, cold as it was expected in Europe and due to that the the, the demand for coal has uh, come down. We need to wait and watch uh, about the coal. Uh, see my worry is that Suhel that you know uh, whatever statement I make here is only pertains to the markets mojo not for the infinity because in infinity uh, we have it now to different IP altogether. And we have seen in many cases, we have been buying some stocks in infinity, which are hold or sell in markets mojo. And at the same time, why say versa? When we are exiting, uh, uh, it may be buy on the markets mojo website, but it could be uh, exit on the uh, the market, uh, on the mojo infinity because we are using different IP altogether. 
and hence sometimes i don't know whether you are mojo infinity customers you are mojo uh, markets mojo customers and the reply may confuse you if you are asking so i don't know which context you are asking me this but yes the coal prices are uh, taken a beating and that could be we need to wait and watch how coal india is able to uh, increase the production and 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 the impact of the falling price uh, on the coal prices does not impact its profitability it's a wait and watch for us i think coal india the score i think on market mojo is a strong buy if i yeah is a strong buy with the score of 80 okay this question by jant is it safe to invest in thematic funds for mutual funds the infrastructure fund seems to be doing well and the returns also are good is it safe yes you can look at it sir uh, jayan ji there is nothing wrong see in thematic funds you must understand that the when it does well it does very well and when it falls it falls also so your risk appetite should be that for some reason if your risk appetite is not there then you should awake from all thematic funds i am not talking about only infra fund but all thematic funds am i right because they do have a high amount of volatility like ramesh ji asked me about nifty base i think if at all you went to that you may be that say if you don't have a risk appetite then go for nifty base kind of a stuff and if you have a high risk appetite please go with the thematic funds Okay, um, so KS brother has a confusion. He says, "Could you ex- explain the difference between the PAS score and the MoJo score, and the factors which it is based on?" To me, it appears fundamental reasons for both can't be different. No, no it will be different, sir. But also, why I'm telling you? Because we are using a different logic altogether. Uh, am I right? So, you know, you would have seen uh, many times even the FIs. One FI will say buy on one company, and another FI says sell on the same company. both has the same fundamental numbers with them am i right so we are using different ip and that's why it is pas score pa score not pa double s score and mojo score and there is a difference there sir so i must clarify and we clarified this uh, in our mojo infinity webinar various times i hope that's clear to everyone those who attend this webinar now okay so she has asked your view on itc please continue to hold sir uh, itc is also a stock of the month and it did extremely well in fact this one company within nifty 50 which did extremely well is itc and we continue to believe it should do well i know some key report came out which saying that you know the story is over and so on and so forth we don't think so okay um prithvi has asked the stock specific question he wants to know your view on rv and corn stock sir main to ye pehli baar naam bhi sun raha hu to mujhe let me just see rv uh, सर आप लोग कंपनी कहाँ कहाँ से लेके आते हो ये होल्ड है हमारी सिस्टम में मैं कहता हूँ माइक्रो कैप लगता है हाँ वन सिक्सटी टू करोड़ का कंपनी है सर खाली एक सौ बासठ करोड़ का उसमें से प्रमोटर्स के पास कितना है देखते हैं चलो सेवेंटी थ्री परसेंट विद द प्रमोटर्स तो सर मार्केट में फ्लोटिंग स्टॉक कहाँ पे है आप लोग को ये कहाँ कहाँ से कंपनी लेके आते हो सर बी नेम आई डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया ऑन अबाउट दिस कंपनी टू बी वेरी फैंक विथ यू बट इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू इन्वेस्ट बी केयरफुल द एंट्री एंड एग्जिट हैज़ टू बी निम्बल फुटेड नहीं तो क्या होता है ऐसी कंपनीों में लिक्विडिटी होती नहीं है एंड ओह दिस कंपनी इज कॉलन बाई थर्टी फोर परसेंट इन वन मंथ थ्री मंथ्स में फोर्टी परसेंट मेरा जिसके पेटे रहता नहीं है सर कि आई वुड गो फॉर दैट इफ आई वुड बी इन योर प्लेस आई वुड स्पे फॉर टू स्टे अवे बिकॉज इट्स नॉट वर्थ द रिस्क इट्स नॉट वर्थ द रिस्क सो इन अवर सिस्टम इट्स ए होल्ड आई वुड बी कम्फर्टेबल इवन हैविंग दिस कंपनी इन माई पोर्टफोलियो Okay, this question by Mr. Lakshmi. Hi, Sunil sir. Are you monitoring the model portfolios? I'm getting many buy and sell for H and I, but not for aggressive portfolio. No, no. So Lakshmi ji, yes, we are monitoring each and every model portfolio, and you should get it as and when there is a change. In fact, we do send an email also if there is a change in the model portfolio. But as I told you, sir, our IP is separate. That's what uh, uh, Brahad sir was asking me. हमारा अभी अक्खा लॉजिक ही अलग चला गया है पास कोड का इन दैट मोजो इन्फेंट्री का और मोरो फोटो का अलग है सो दैट्स वाई डोंट कंपेयर वन वन टू वन बिकॉज इन्फिनिटी इज ए हायर इज हायर रिटर्न स्ट्रेटेजी एंड दैट्स वेल वी गो डू गो फॉर रिस्की स्टॉक्स तो उसका कंस्ट्रक्ट अलग है उसका स्ट्रेटेजी अलग है विच इज़ नॉट द केस विद मॉडल पोर्टफोलियो मॉडल फोटो का जो स्ट्रेटेजी आप लोग डे वन से चालू वही चालू है उस पर कोई चेंज नहीं किया उन्होंने Okay, this question by Rajiv. Hello, Mr. Sunil. Could you please share view on KP Energy? Even after great results, the stock has been on a downtrend. 
सर ये भी कंपनी मैंने कभी के पी एनर्जी नाम नहीं सुना है सर मैंने इज इट द राइटली स्पेड के पी एनर्जी सर सॉरी माय एपोलॉजी सर पर आई कैन सी द नेम के पी एनर्जी इज सर आई थिंक यू नॉट स्पेल द नेम करेक्टली और आई डोंट नो और आई एम मेकिंग सम मिस्टेक इन टर्म्स ऑफ सर्चिंग लेट्स एक मिनट एक मिनट आई हाँ आई कैन सी के पी एनर्जी सॉरी इट्स अ स्ट्रॉन्ग बाई इन सिस्टम इट्स अ माइक्रो कैप अगेन थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री करोड़ का मार्केट कैप है एंड इफ यू लुक एट द प्रोमोटर्स ओन फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट सी ऐसी जब कंपनी में ना मुझे तकलीफ क्या होता है वेरी फ्रेंक विथ यू आई एम नॉट डेट गो टू मच कम्फर्ट बिकॉज प्राइस डिस्कवरी इज नॉट हैपनिंग इन अ वेरी मीनिंगफुल मैनर and and that makes me worry you know this counter could be manipulated by the vested interest so right now it's a buy if you have a high risk appetite please go ahead mere paas itne risk appetite nahi hai to main nahi karunga even though it's a buy now system i will not be comfortable buying okay this next question this is by soma sundaram sunil ji ai engineering is going down significantly since we purchased can we add them at current levels so company looks extremely good uh, they are into uh, they serve to the mining industry con- consumables and demand for that should be extremely good that's what my sense is you are right uh, in last one month it has out- outperformed to be very frank with you sab bhai can you see my screen uh, uh, so you know if you look at last one week uh, it is almost in line with the overall market last one month uh, it's outperformed last three month it's outperformed last 6 month is outperform ytd is outperform you know so it has shown lot of resilience uh, uh, i must tell you that in terms of as compared to what is happening in the market and you always need to compare with what's happening in the market am i right so please sir uh, continue to hold uh, uh, we do believe that user industries has a bright future and the user industries to do well this company has to do well that's what my sense is question by vishal are you ha- do you have any plans to introduce options or mutual fund portfolios mutual fund portfolio yes sir vishal ji but uh, options um, it's not in our uh, discussion agenda also to be very frank with you uh, uh, in future it can happen will really difficult to say but right now it's on, not on agenda but mutual fund portfolio definitely is on our agenda when it will come very really difficult to say but it's definitely in our discussion board right now Okay, this next question. This is by Ashwin. Do you have any personal opinion on fresh buy of Indus Industries? So, Indus is a is a is a buy in our system with a strong eighty one ka score. Having said that, it has not done as much we would have loved to do it uh, in life. If you look at last one month, three months, or YTD, it has underperformed. And one of the reason why it has underperformed because there is a clear cut uh, pressure on the bank nifty and which we just discuss uh, in the beginning of this webinar so my advice would be even though it's a strong buy if you already bought it please continue to hold but fresh buy i would rather wait and watch okay this next question by raju is asked hdfc bank for long term investment what's your opinion so sir me thoda bias bhi hu See today also there was an outage in HDFC Bank. A bank technology should be the backbone of a any. And in fact, yesterday I was making a very statement, very similar. I think somewhere HDFC Bank has not been able to ramp up the digital infrastructure, and this outage is not something very good. My my I I, I must tell you that. And today you I don't know how many people are gone to the social media and do. what kind of people have been writing on hdfc bank today so f- technology is the future and if a bank which is having this kind of a problem every now and then and have now and then is not something uh, advisable so my view on the hdfc bank has been negative for many many years now if you happen to go to a blog and in 2018 or 19 i wrote about hdfc bank and i did mention that how uncomfortable i am with hdfc bank and since then this bank has underperformed only and i do believe it will underperform even going forward okay mr sunil that's with the q and a session for today 
सो थैंक्स अलॉट थैंक्स जेसन फॉर पिकिंग अप वेरी नाइस क्वेश्चन वेरी इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन थॉट प्रोवर्किंग क्वेश्चन I do understand you people are little worried. Your people are worried about Fed, all you know, but your view should not be on the market for one month, three months. I do believe market should give a very good returns in the years to come. I myself has bought today. I have been buying it on every dip for the very simple reason. I do believe market में तेजी बहुत अच्छी आने वाली है. I know it's very difficult to digest today. why because we are all suffering from the recency bias uh, but that's the way the market behaves am i right that's how the market function so don't panic remain calm compose in this market and tomorrow as i told you i'm going to discuss about equity outlook please come and join this webinar thanks a lot jason for hosting this webinar over to you yeah thanks a lot mr sunil and thanks to everyone for attending today's event uh, we'll be shortly sending you all invites for tomorrow's event of equity outlook goodbye and have a great evening